let us discuss Riemann integration. What is Riemann integration? You are familiar with integration. So Riemann integration in this topic, we are going to learn what is the geometrical meaning of integration. It's a very interesting and beautiful concept. But before starting actual topic, we need to know some basic terminologies. So see in few first videos, we will discuss some basic things. And after that, we will going, we are going to discuss what is actually Riemann integration. Okay. So see what will I do? I will start with the first concept partition. Let me write that thing here. So the first concept is partition. See if you have any interval. Okay. So here I consider close interval AB. So this is a given interval. I is equal to close interval AB. So what we do, we introduce few, few points between A and B. Okay. Just like see X1 x2 and so on last one will be xn okay so that means we write points like this first point is x0 getting a that means the starting point is x0 x1 will be greater than or equal to x0 next x2 next x3 and the last point is xn which is nothing but b so because of these points this interval is subdivided in small small sub intervals getting so that means we get a first interval i1 which is x0 to x1 getting the next is i2 which is close interval x1 x2 so in this way finally we get i n which is equal to x n minus 1 x n that means p okay so that because of these points the interval is divided into sub intervals having some different different lengths so we find their lengths using we uh, denote those lengths using this symbol mod x delta xi that means delta sorry this is nothing but xi minus xi minus 1 that means delta x1 which is equal to x1 minus x0 delta x2 which is equal to x2 minus x1 getting delta x1 means length of this sub interval getting delta x2 means length of this sub interval x2 minus x1 and so on similarly we can write delta xn which is obviously xn minus xn minus 1 so in this way we find lengths of each sub interval we will discuss one example so you can easily understand see here we will discuss one example consider interval close interval 0 comma 4 as you can see here 0 and 4 so what we do we consider a partition p 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We are getting this is a partition. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Simple partition I have considered. Okay. Simple partition. So see our first interval I1 is close interval 0, 1. Get, getting this is our I1. Getting the point. What will be I2? Close interval 1, comma 2. This is interval I2. Next i3 which is close interval 2 comma 3 this is i3 and i4 which is last one 3 comma 4 this is interval i4 right so because of these three points the interval main interval is subdivided into four sub intervals okay so we can find their lengths but there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so length of i1 okay so we are going to find length of i2, length of i3 and length of i4. So we are going to find length of these four intervals. See length of i1 that is nothing but delta x1. Getting what is the formula of delta x1? It's quite simple x1 minus x0, x1 that means this 1 minus 0, 1 minus 0 what will you have? 1 length of i2 that is nothing but delta x2 that is nothing but x2 minus x1 second point minus first point so see uh, 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 we will have 1 again right this is length of i3 delta x3 so that means x3 minus x2 so again by solving it 3 minus 2 1 and delta x4 getting i length of i4 that is nothing but delta x4 x4 minus x3 which is obviously 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 okay so that means in this example 0 is my x0 1 is my x1 2 is my x2 3 is my x3 and 4 is my x4 getting so simply what we what we have understood from that 
if you have any interval we can introduce few points between the endpoints of the interval so because of those points the interval is divided in sub intervals and maybe they have a different different lengths fortunately in this example we have got length of all intervals is same but see it is not necessary so you can consider intervals sub intervals having different lengths so length of each sub interval we can find using this formula okay we denote it by delta xi that is nothing but xi minus xi minus 1 so using this formula we find their lengths so i hope you understood this concept partition okay we will stop here in next video we will discuss few more interesting concepts okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye